Glad I tried it on. My leg is, uh, my leg is too small. This is too big, so we're gonna have to. Oh, we're awake. It's Saturday. Good morning. Here we go. New York City Marathon mug drinking out of it. It's got the map on the back. Pretty sweet. The World Marathon Majors. But uh, all right, I'm off to a massage. Just working on this left knee, working on it. And this is day three of no running, okay? And I'm communicating with a lot of you on Twitter about how many days off I will take. And frankly, I don't know. I don't know taking it one day at a time, hashtag patience, I said on Twitter, because it's a, it's a game of patience. So that is what I'm up to, and just waiting it out, waiting it out, seeing, what, uh, seeing what, how it responds to the lack of, um, of pounding. So, okay, here we go. Oh. Glad I tried it on. My leg is uh, my leg is too small. This is too big, so we're gonna have to probably resort to Amazon for this one. Man, Let's keep trying, keep trying. All right, everyone, just wrapping up a little. Um, it's called the Tens 3000. It's a little electric stimulus, and it doesn't help heal the knee, but it helps relieve some of the pain so maybe I can relax a little bit more. So anyway, that's what this was, the little electrodes on my knee. It, uh, yeah, the first time I used it, it felt great, so we shall see how it feels now. And we're gonna open a little Christmas card real quick. So this is from Utah. This arrived at the P.O. Box yesterday. Oh, here comes True Love. Oh, it's a, it's a family Christmas oh, card. I love, I love it. Oh, Michael's gonna love that. It's, it's from uh, oh, the, the, the She Wells. Wells. So thank oh, you. What a beautiful family. A beautiful family. So for four kids and a dog. They watch the uh, vlog out, oh. out in Utah, and then they have a note on the back. It says, Dear Seth, True Love and the boys, thank you for inspiring us with, with the vlog. We are daily watchers and so appreciate the new community you have brought uh, to us through SJD Global Running. Happy holidays and the best New Year's wishes. Ah, there you go. That's so sweet. Isn't that, isn't that nice? Yeah, you can see. Thank you. Thank that you. Was so sweet. Appreciate you guys. Thank you so much. Oh, that's fun Aww. to get a Christmas card in the P.O. Yeah. box. Oh, that's that's what it's that all about. Fun. That was okay. Not yet. Yeah. Well, okay. Twenty minutes. It's officially Christmas break, which means the crumbs increases. Crumbs are going up. <laughs> okay, the boys are off with Nana at their Christmas party. I'm going into the gym, get work done while they're having fun. And yesterday when I swam in the, in the pool, it was a two or a three on the pain scale, the knee. 
And then by the end of the swim, it was, it was like a one, if not a zero. So it did warm up. And so based on the research I've done, talking to the physical therapist, the massage therapist, uh, movement for the tendon is good because you want to bring blood to that area to help promote healing. You just don't want to overdo it. So I'm a little surprised it was painful at all swimming yesterday, but I'm gonna, just going to see how it feels today. Hopefully, uh, hopefully it doesn't go obviously above. If it goes above a three, I just I just won't swim. But we just gotta keep fighting, keep trying. All right, let's go. Okay, that's better. So today the knee felt uh, about the same as yesterday. I only swam like 12 minutes. I didn't go to 20. I just did you know no reason to push it in the pool, but the pool plus the sauna for 20 minutes. And I know I've heard like heat can sometimes mask an issue, but right now I must say walking around just out to my car, I didn't feel anything. It was at a zero. So anyway, I'm just, com just communicating. And yes, I'm gonna share with you what is happening to the pain, where it is shifting. And I'll be curious to hear your thoughts about it once I get back to my house. But uh, that is the update from the pool today and the sauna, okay. Hope you're having a great weekend. Oh, it's just good to be, good to be alive. Good to be alive, as that sign said yesterday at the physical therapy office. I, you know, every day we get up, we eat good food, we drink delicious coffee, and sometimes we get to run. But when we don't get to run, there's always the opportunity to do so eventually. Emphasis on, emphasis on eventually, and hopefully pain free. All right, here we go, everyone. So while I still have some good, good sunlight here, I'm going to mark my knee. Okay, so I'm just trying to find the right position where you can see the knee good. So here is the patella right here. Here's the kneecap. All right, so I'm gonna use the blue marker to show you where the knee was hurting the most. And I'm not saying it's completely gone from the patella, but this is where I had the most pain, let's say, three days ago. So I'm just gonna circle it. This might be a little tip of the day, is uh, mark, your, mark your pain and see, where it, see if it moves. I'm kind of surprised. And this is uh, not the question of the day, but basically at this point, right now, let me just extend my leg a little bit here. There we go. Hopefully you can still see that, is the pain has shifted from right here below the kneecap to more, I'm gonna circle it in red, all right? Basically, right here. So kind of on the edge of the kneecap, on the medi medial side, I believe it's called, so the inside of the kneecap. So, I'm, and again, I'm not saying it's completely gone from the patella, but now it's shifted here. Is this normal? Other runner's knee sufferers out there, have you, has this happened to you where the pain is shifting? And now, as I mentioned earlier, the pool and the sauna have made it feel really, really good right now. Um, and this is day two, day three of no running, just so you know. So that's a quick update. Okay, we're going to hop on the floor, get on this physical therapy here in a minute. And um, just wanted to update you there. The pain is shifting. Hello. Hello, hello. All right, let the homework begin. I'm back in school again. Here's my physical therapy instructions. I'm uh, gonna get after it right now. And I got my new ankle weights, uh, feeling good. Question of the day, how was your long run or your race this weekend? If you're racing this weekend in the Northern Hemisphere, you're probably doing some sort of winter adventure or maybe a polar bear 5K or something or a sink. St. Nicholas 5K, I don't know. But if you're in the Southern Hemisphere, who knows? Maybe it's perfect, uh, perfect weather down there. So, oh yeah, and I updated you, updated you on the knee once again. There it is. I'll be really interested to hear some thoughts in the comments about if anybody else has experienced this situation where the pain is shifting up here. So, all right, time to get, time to get down to work, putting these on, and uh, yeah, I know. I know it's not quite as exciting as filming up in the mountains or filming a threshold run like I did before Amsterdam, but this is the beauty of 
YouTube is just communicating reality. You know, it's like reality here with the hip and the knee and all that good stuff. So, all right, enough talking. Let the physical therapy at home begin. I just gotta make sure, make sure I do it right. Okay. All right, everyone, we're gonna sign off then just so I can focus. All right, there it is. Knee bent, onward and upward. And uh, okay, nice. And I gotta, the key for this one is you gotta flex your quad. I, I do remember that or else it doesn't engage uh, the quad correctly. So you gotta flex that quad. All right, everyone. Ooh, toss it back to the PT appointment two days ago. And uh, we'll toss it back to um, something else. <laughs> I love you all. Seek beauty, work hard, and love each other. See you tomorrow.